स्टाइलिंग चेक टेक्नोलॉजी चेक फीचर्स चेक परफॉर्मेंस ऑन पेपर चेक प्राइस डबल चेक Does that mean the Triumph Trident is the best midweight naked motorcycle? Does that mean that this could be the only bike in your garage to solve say 80% of your needs? Does that mean you should head to the nearest Triumph dealership to trade in your 8 lakh rupees for this? What is the missing factor? Who is the target audience? We have so many questions running into our mind for what could be the game changer for the British motorcycle manufacturer in India. And to get clarity on some of them, we flew down to Uttarakhand's winter capital from Nama Bengaluru. As a British brand with far rooted heritage, Triumph has worked hard to integrate that more traditional look with a modern touch. We would describe it as a clean and gently aggressive design with retro lines. Retro touches include the sculpted knee cutouts on the fuel tank and the classic round LED headlight. The classic design language is certainly softer and more traditional than some of its more aggressive rivals. Trident might look compact but will appeal to both short and tall riders. More importantly, a confidence booster for shorter and inexperienced riders. The rear shock absorber has an adjustable preload with 5.23 inches of travel. However, the fly in the ointment for tall commuters might be the raised height of foot pegs, especially for the pillion which is complicated by the smaller rear seat. The number plate is mounted to the swing arm giving the rear profile a clean look, which is complemented by brake light which is neatly tucked. The Trident comes with a 2 year unlimited kilometer warranty with a India friendly annual service interval or at 16000 km whichever earlier. Triumph has nailed creating an agile, a totally intimidating midweight offering. Its 189 kg weight and 805 mm seat height means it's really confidence inspiring. A 14 litre fuel tank has been designed with engineering precision for this model that allows ease of access to and from the machine. The all new TFT LCD dashboard looks cool. It has a minimalist tick and clean and simple with crisp fonts for speedometer. It also brings plenty of additional features when paired with optional My Triumph connectivity system which can be connected to a smartphone to give integrated navigation, phone and music controls where action camera users can pair their GoPro to the system and control it through the left hand switch gear. You can also toggle between riding modes apart from controlling a plethora of other functionalities from the flick of your left hand. The Trident is powered by 660cc inline triple cylinder engine making 81 bhp and 64 Nm of torque. This is the version of older Triumph Daytona 675cc engine. The riding position is extremely relaxed with wide handlebars that are close to you. You will find yourself in a perfect upright position, not to lean back, not too hunched forward and sporty. Right from the start, the Trident feels extremely easy to handle. It immediately gives an impression of lightness and ease of maneuvering. The 81 bhp output isn't earth shattering and the bike always sounds faster than it's actually propelling. After all, this is an approachable bike design for the road, not to set lap times. The power mill is mostly new and has gone through its own engine development program with 65 new components, all with the aim of boosting low-end and mid-range torque. It's not the motor that's slow and steady initially but gains momentum and punches the adrenaline at high revs. Rather, it's good throughout the rev band. 90% of the peak torque kicks in from 3600 rpm. In fact, it's precisely this extraordinarily flat torque curve that is a secret of Trident's extremely pleasant ride. Just a few kilometers on this brilliant machine are enough to realize that this English roadster is easy and intuitive. Although the Trident loves to be revved, honestly, it's not the motorcycle that you would want to push really hard in the corners. The gear shifts from 1st to 4th are short and 5th and 6th are focused more for open roads. Power delivery is gentle during the initial throttle opening that is perfect for new and inexperienced riders. Do note that the rain mode incidentally softens the power delivery even further making it conservative. Slip assist clutch met expectations for light clutch, certainly beneficial for riding fatigue, especially in urban environments. The clutch was not adjustable unfortunately, a down for smaller hands given the fact that the travel of the lever was slightly longer than we desired. The brake lever, however, is adjustable. The stock exhaust system sounds brilliant for a standard bike. It's commendable how the Brits have managed to do it in a relatively mid state of tune. At lower revs, it's refined and then a slight change around 3000 rpm. 
that is more charismatic. Check this out. Showa suspension controls the springs at each end. There's no adjustment on the front and only preload at the rear. But it's not the Triumph plonged in some cheap budget suspension to the Trident. This is a fairly impressive setup for this type of bike. It does its best to make the Trident effective between bends. The turning is quick and precise, and it follows the lines and curves diligently. It's quick but never nervous in changing direction. For new riders, the suspension is sympathetic, easy to get along with an urban jungle and well-paved tarmac. But should you decide to get ambitious with it on broken roads, just like we got in few patchy mountains of Uttarakhand, you wouldn't be the happiest of all when you go back home as the bumps from the craters manage to traverse from the Michelin to the rider. Despite being set up for the road, the Trident is so agile and stable in bends that you would have a lot of fun with it on a track day. The natural riding position allows you to control and throw the bike around with relative ease. The rubber duties are assigned to Michelin road fire tires, performing reassuringly. These rubbers are significant improvement when compared to the OEM rubber available in this class. They felt solid and confident in both dry and occasional wet riding. In fact, the Trident's handling is extremely hard to point for. We rode for 201.7 km to be precise, in the mountains engulfing Rishikesh and Dehradun, most of which was on the hairpin laden twists. Not once did the Trident kiss its specs, weave, or do anything that diluted our confidence. We did push the bike to its limits to hunt for vibrations, and the Trident could not fulfill our wishes, and for once we are happy about it. There are two riding modes, road and rain. Each mode changes the power characteristics via fly-by-wire throttle as well as traction control and ABS. In rain mode, the rider aids are set at a higher level of intervention and the power delivery is conservative. What's more surprising is that you can't switch on or deactivate the traction control on the mode. Class appropriate two piston Nissan calipers work with the 310 mm floating rotors and a single piston Nissan caliper grabs onto 255mm disc. Brakes are straight and hard, giving you confidence to power on. But there were a couple of instances when we felt that pedal aspired to engulf a sense of sponginess on high speed braking. Triumph has kept the recipe fairly simple for the success mantra of Trident. You get all the bells and whistles you would ask for at this price point. There are a lot of features, you get two riding modes, you get an option to switch off the traction control, ABS and a beautiful navigation system that works flawlessly. In fact, the bike is capable of handling 20 to 30 bhp more. But it might end up stressing the chassis, the brakes, the suspension. Triumph knows it very well that the ice cream might not be as delicious if it gets too sweet. Talking about the target audience for the Triumph Trident, this bike is going to appeal to those people who have just got the riding license and who are new to motorbiking and also who are new to you know, uh, mid-weight performance uh, motorbiking. And apart from that, it's also going to appeal to people who have taken a, a short break or a break from riding and who are planning to come back into motorcycle riding after a long time. I'm not trying to gender discriminate here in any which way, but this bike is also going to appeal to a lot of women riders. It's light, it's very, very agile. It's good uh, on the track, on the tarmac, um, on the highways, the free run, does a splendid job in the city. The first four gear ratios are short, everything is sorted there. And uh, it's going to do a lot of things without burning a very, very deep hole into your pocket. That's the best part about this. It's said that overconfidence isn't really a good thing. But for once, I wouldn't mind being the bad guy in the room. Trust me on this, the Triumph Trident is the trump card Triumph has been long waiting for. Oh, that makes it for a good tongue twister. There are hardly any flaws in this bike. I mean, after riding it for a whole day, close to 8 to 9 hours, close to 250 kilometers on the odometer until now, and we still have some time to reach the hotel in Dehradun, I'm absolutely amazed by the bike. Of course, there are a small cons with the large number of pros, which you will find in the slides here. But if you think that this video made sense, if you guys like the video, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. Take care, drive safe and stay healthy.